In this movie, we'll take a look. In this movie, we'll be taking a look at creating mix groups, and as well, we're going to use another feature in the memory locations um, option that lets us display different tracks uh, when choosing different memory locations. So mix groups allow us to apply mix actions to a group of tracks and instead of having to edit each track individually we can edit one track and those edits will apply to the other tracks. So I'm going to create mix groups for my different components of this song and then I'm going to create memory locations that will only show certain tracks. Let's do the first. Let's create our mix groups. So the first mix group that I want is the drums and so I'll shift click all the tracks that have drums. So that's from kick to room two. Now I'll choose from mix groups and if you can't see that pane you make sure you click this small triangle at the bottom left. I'll choose new group and call it drums. And I want a mix group so I'll only choose the type mix. I can give it an ID so that when I want to view it quickly using a keyboard focus uh, shortcut I can just choose the letter D for drums. Now I choose OK. So the next I want I am vocals. Choose new group. I'll call it Vox. Just mix. For here I'll choose the letter V. And guitar. and I'll create a group for bass even though it's just one instrument. So now you may have noticed that when I created these groups these small colored letters appeared at the bottom of the tracks. That's to indicate what keyboard shortcut will enable that group. So for instance, right now they're all enabled. However, if I click off of them, you'll see that they become disengaged. But if I press the letter D, I'll get the drums. And I can toggle that on and off. V for Vox, G for guitars, and B for bass. So the way this works is if I toggle the drums on and start dragging faders, they will all move. And this is good for um, big group edits. And they all move in relation to each other. So for instance, if I toggle, toggle it off and then randomly just adjust these faders, then toggle it on, they will move relative to each other. So that's actually a pretty nice feature. Um, a quick shortcut to enable the fader to go back to zero, hold Option and click the fader click them all. Okay, so the other thing that I want to do is I want to use the memory locations to create different views of my session. And I'll be creating views for the submix stems and for each of the components. So for the drums, the guitar, bass, and vocals. And to do this, we're going to option click all of the tracks in the track pane to get nothing in view. Then we'll select the tracks that we want to see. So here I want to see just the stems and the master fader. With the memory locations window open, I'll choose from the drop down new memory location. Now I don't want a marker and I don't want a selection. Instead I'll choose none. Give my memory location a name, I'll call it stems and make sure that the track show hide box is selected and choose OK. The next one I want is the um, drums so option click again to clear the selection and click shift or click kick sub and just keep going through to get the drums. OK. Now click the drop down and choose new memory location. Um, 
drums. Choose none, you don't need a marker, and make sure track show height is checked. And I'll repeat this now for the vocals. And now the guitar. And the bass. So now when I click each of these memory locations, I will just get a view of the groups of tracks in my session. It's actually a good idea to then create a group that's called all. So okay. got them all selected. New memory location all. So let's say that I want to alter one of these uh, view memory locations. Let's say I'll alter the guitars. I click on it and I want to add another track into view. So what I would do is click the memory location, then add the track. So let's say I want to look at the guitar stem and the rhythm stem. Well, heck, we'll look at the guitar stem, rhythm, bass, and master fader. Now to add that to my current memory location, I'll hold control. You'll see a pencil icon appear and I'll click on the memory location and choose OK. Now, when I click that memory location, those tracks that I've chosen to show have been added to the memory location. And likewise, I can get rid of the tracks. That is to not show them, hold control, click the eyeball icon and choose OK. And now I've restored my previous view for this memory location. Now when I play the project, you can see that I, I still hear the entire project, but now my mix, uh, portions of my mix are much more manageable in that I can choose different memory locations to focus on just a component of the mix or if I want to see the whole mix choose all and I'm given the whole board. Now the last thing I'm gonna do uh, because I really like to see the components of the mix I'm gonna color each of the tracks um, according to their group and function. So I'll shift click the track groups go up to window color palette and holding control option and command I will color the tracks according to this the current color so these tracks are actually all going to turn blue green and then the master is going to turn red and then I'll recolor the tracks so control option command click blue that assigns the current colors and if I hold down control option command and drag up and down with the mouse I can get different um, shadings of the color so now I'll just choose a color. I won't hold control option and command because that just enables the track to be colored. And so now it just colors the selected tracks. So for my drum tracks, I will color them a kind of dark blue. For my vocal tracks, a gold color or a golden rod. For the guitar tracks, I'll go for here a kind of teal. Oh, let me select my bass track. And that one's an odd man out, so I'll make it purple. And now, upon looking at my mix, for me, it's, it's just much more apparent what the um, groups are. And so I've got a color coding method where I can sort my groups. I've got memory locations where I can just view each of the groups and then later when we start mixing I've got each of these groups um, assigned to a particular mix group